Welcome, boys and girls. I'm so sorry we couldn't be at church today, but we get to do it on our cameras, on our phones, on our computers. So I'm going to miss your happy faces and your warm hugs. But until then, you can listen to the story like this. One of the things that we're going to talk about today, and I brought Wooly Lamb for the little people who remember Wooly Lamb, is that Jesus in the Bible is talked about as being the shepherd, and we are his sheep. It's something that the Bible talks about that Jesus talked about in the story. So for the big kids, this story is found in Luke chapter 15 and is also found in Matthew chapter 18. So you can read the story in your Bibles. So I want to talk to you a little bit about what the Bible says about sheep and shepherds. The shepherd would take care of the sheep outside and they would make sure that they had nice, cool water to drink. Maybe you know how a sheep drinks, not with a cup. They use their tongues and they drink the water. And then the shepherd would take them to the grass and they would eat the grass and it would be so good. And then he would keep them safe. And sometimes he would put them in a great big sheepfold so that no animals could get them and hurt them. He had a long staff, it was, looked like a stick, and he could use that staff to hit the bad animals to keep them away. Or he could use it to pull the sheep closer. And he loved his sheep, just like Jesus loves us. So in our story today, this is gonna come from those passages that I told you about, but somebody wrote a story based on the, what was the story in the Bible. So some of the boys and girls in my class know to sit still, sometimes we have to do something special. It's called open shut them. So if you are little, get a safe spot to sit, get your hands ready, Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, put them in your lap, lap, lap. Sit very still. I open my Bible book and read, God loves me, God loves me. There was a kind shepherd man. He had 100 sheep. Some of his sheep were big and some of them were little. The shepherd loved his sheep. He gave each one a name. One little lamb's name was Snowball. Snowball was white and clean, and the shepherd took good care of his sheep. He looked for green grass. He looked for cold water. He watched his sheep every night. One day, Snowball went too far away. He could not find the shepherd. He was lost. The shepherd didn't miss him at first. He took all the sheep home. He counted them as he put them in the fold. One, two, three, four, counted up to 99. One lamb was lost. The shepherd called all the sheep. He called, Snowball, Snowball. But Snowball did not come. Snowball was lost. The shepherd went to look for him. He looked and looked. At last he heard, Bah, Bah. The shepherd found Snowball. He picked up the lamb in his arms and took him home. See the picture? The shepherd was happy because he had found his little lost lamb. Now sometimes we do mean things and we walk away from our shepherd Jesus. We don't listen to the things he tells us and we hurt other people. We maybe think bad thoughts about ourselves or about other people or we maybe don't obey our moms and dads. And that makes Jesus sad, but he always loves us and he always finds us and he never will let us not be with him because he loves us so much. So I have another picture of what maybe it looked like when the shepherd was trying to find his sheep and, and it got lost on the mountain and what it looks like maybe for Jesus. Now, one of the things that we usually do after our story is we make a picture. Now this is a picture that I have, which the moms and dads, if they have a computer, could get a sheep template and they could print it and the boys and girls could color it or, and blue cotton balls. But if you are big and you know how to draw a sheep yourself, you could draw your own sheep and shepherd picture. And you could, after you get all the sheep drawn, you could glue some cotton balls on all the sheep. I would love it if you could maybe send me some of your pictures so I could see what they look like. You could email them to the church. I want to see how good of a job you did. And I want to see how good of a job you're going to do this week and remembering how much Jesus loves us and remembering that it makes him sad when we don't listen to him. So one of the things that I thought I would teach you is maybe a new song. Because in our class, we like to sing a song when we're done with our story. But before we do our song, let's pray to Jesus. 
Dear Jesus, thank you so much that you love us. Thank you that you care about all of us and you know who all of us are and you know all of our names. Amen. Okay, the song we're going to sing goes like this. you got to get your arm, you got to put it, your elbow in your hand. Now, this could be hard for some of the little ones. See if you can do it. All right, get your hand all the way over. So it's going to go by your other elbow. Ready? Love them in the morning when you see the sun arising. You go all the way backwards. Love him in the evening cause he took you through the day. And in the in-between time when you feel the pressure coming, remember that he loves you and he promises to stay. Let's do it again. Love him in the morning when you see the sun arising. Love him in the evening cause he took you through the day. And in the in-between time when you feel the pressure coming, remember that he loves you and he promises to stay. Thank you for listening, boys and girls. See you again next week. Bye.